Okay, good deal. Thank you so much, Carly. Seven candidates are headed back to the debate stage tonight. So what is the best strategy as they're facing off for the second time? So let's break it all down with former White House press secretary and our friend and co-host of Outnumbered, Kaylee McEnany. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right, go. you go over there. I'll go come over here. First one, Ron DeSantis, what can we expect tonight? So Governor DeSantis put out a memo to his donors and it emphasized his proven conservative record. Look, he is the only person on that stage who's been an executive that governed in a very conservative fashion. Um, they expected to be attacked last time. They were not. He really wasn't, was he? No, but he's still in the number two slot. So yeah. he will likely be attacked tonight. I will be looking, though, does he get personal? One of his best moments on the debate stage last time was when he talked about hearing his daughter's heartbeat and his abortion answer. Yeah. Will he get personal? Will we see him as a dad, as a husband, as a person? Right. It was like a safe, he was safe last time. We walked away. He was solid. He did a great job. But yes. do we need more from him? Do we need a fighter? Do we want to see him get in a few arguments? Well, I think there's something to be said for looking presidential, for being presidential. Our America's Newsroom Focus Group had him as the clear winner. Okay. He was tied with Vivek in a lot of the polling yeah. I saw yeah. as to who won the debate. So what he did last time worked. But to your point, if you want to move up against Donald Trump, who's at the top, you got to make some movement. You have to have memorable yes. moments. All right, Vivek, let's talk about Vivek, because he's so energetic. If you meet him, he's a nice guy, energetic. But he was attacked last time by Nikki Haley for flip-flopping on some of his, his issues. He was the most attacked candidate on the stage Bar none. I don't think you can argue with that. In fact, I don't think his campaign saw it coming. I certainly didn't see it coming. Um, but his campaign told me, and this is a quote, they would not be surprised if it got a little sporty again, but our goal is for him to introduce himself to the American people. Only a third of Americans know who he is. He had a great debate last time, according to the polling. But will he be that happy warrior? He's a very optimistic guy. He's a mm -hmm. fighter, but he does it in a positive way. So will we see that happy warrior tonight? Because the barbs are flying for Vivek. Make no mistake. Yeah. Nikki Haley, being the only female up there, had a great answer, according to even Democrats, according to independents, with the abortion issue. She says, I'm not for it, but let's don't demonize the women who have had them. Yes. How do you expect her to play today, but tonight? Because she raised money last time and yes. really stood out. So we talked last time about the M-word, movement. She got movement. The WMUR poll, a big poll in New Hampshire, shows that she has moved up to second place in New Hampshire. Our own Fox Business poll shows her number three in Iowa. She's beating Biden in head-to-head matchups outside the margin of error. She got movement. She had a moment. So tonight, she will be attacked in the same way I suspect DeSantis will and Vivek will. And her, can her campaign told me we expect to be attacked at the second debate, but she's taking on Russia and China. They believe she can take on the men on the stage. Okay, and uh, Rick Scott, Rick Scott, Tim Scott, and uh, Mike Pence, we put them on the same page because they're tied for the sixth place. What do you expect? Both strong Christians. He says, you know, Brian was talking about this this morning, he regrets being so nice and really adhering to his times. And, and that's just it. Look, Tim Scott, I would argue, has the most unique message on the stage. He's positive. He's faithful. He's uplifting. You, you want to listen to him. You want to yeah. hear him. But to your point, he stood back a little. He didn't interject much. And by doing so, he allowed the spotlight to go to other candidates on the stage. But I spoke to someone on his campaign and they said, tonight, don't expect a heel turn. He's going to be that, that guy on the stage, the adult in the room. However, he will illustrate policy distinctions. We've seen that in the last two weeks. He went after Trump on abortion because he's very pro-life, one of the most pro-life candidates on the stage. He also went after Vivek on Port foreign policy this week on Taiwan and on China. So he's going to be vocal um, and we'll see if he can get more of that spotlight tonight. What about Mike Pence? Mike Pence, the opposite, right? He interjected a lot. One of the things I did not have on my bingo card was Vivek versus Mike Pence. It was highly entertaining to watch. Will he interject in the same well way? Will he stand back a little? I suspect he'll go after Nikki Haley on abortion. These are the two most pro-life candidates in the race, and they're going to make that known. Christie had some funny lines at the last debate. He talked about chat GPT, and then yeah. when okay. asked about UFOs, he, oh, great, I get the UFO question, and then he pivot to what he really wanted to talk about. And then Bergam, he, it, it was just announced on Monday. He made it to the stage. Barely. Ainsley, do you remember we talked about the candidates on the end of the stage, Asa Hutchinson yeah. and Bergram, and are any of them going to fall off the stage? Well, Asa fell off. Bergram barely hung on, but if he doesn't do something big tonight, the threshold for making the next debate is 4%. He hasn't hit 4% in one poll. He's got to do something tonight. Christie, he has a Trump-centric campaign, um, but Christie, is he going to talk about the issues more? Will he try to go after Nikki Haley? He's all about New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Nikki's now too, so will he now point his fire towards Nikki Haley? You know, it's always fun to look at the real clear politics, to look because that's an average of all the polls yes. that are out there. Trump is the clear winner right now. He's getting 57% 
percent in Real Clear Politics. DeSantis is a distant second at 14.5 percent. So the elephant not in the room tonight yeah. is Donald Trump. He is ahead by 42 percentage points. That is enormous. He is running essentially as an incumbent. But the reason I think he should be at the debate tonight, our last Fox News debate got more than 12 million yeah. viewers, near, nearly 13 million. Millions will be watching tonight. If you think you are the foregone nominee, yeah. show up and start pointing your fire towards Biden instead of seating a huge national audience. These moments are rare. So show up and attack Biden, because maybe that'll give you some yeah. movement as we head into he the general. He said he might not participate in any of the polls. So I hope going yeah. forward he does. We were hoping on Monday he would announce, because that was the deadline for this, for this debate, that he would say, guess what, I'm coming. Move over, everybody. Because well, we do want to see him up there. I want to hear from him. He's, a, he's so entertaining to watch. And let me tell you, no one can out-debate Donald Trump. He's very good at it. He knows how to win debates. And he's ahead by 42%. So all these other candidates are playing catch up. Yep. We'll see who the vice president will be. If, he's, if he gets the nomination, it looks like he might then, or it looks like he will. Yes. Curious to see who he'll choose. Maybe he'll be watching just for that reason tonight. You never know. So, and also join us tomorrow morning because we're going to have all of the coverage. If you go to bed early, and we hope you don't, we hope you watch the debate. But if, if you trail off at the end of it, we're going to have everything that you need to know tomorrow morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.